Welcome back to the monthly decluttering series. Today we're focusing on travel related things to declutter in August to take you closer to a clutter free home and to make your vacations and staycations a lot smoother. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and I help you live a simpler, happier, more spacious life. And first on this list is any sort of travel bag. I'm talking suitcases, packing cubes. These are great. I will link mine below backpacks, toiletries, bags, or the bags that you put all of your tech stuff in. I don't know about you, but I find that over the years, I tend to accumulate more and more of these types of bags. You might upgrade to a better quality bag, you might upgrade it to a bigger bag, but you always keep the older ones just in case case. Huh? No pun intended. Now's the time to go through your collection and figure out which are the ones that you are actually traveling with and which are the ones that are just taking up a lot of space. Second on the list then is any sort of beach or pool cover up. I am talking caftans, sarongs, you know, a little shawl or something. Anything that you would use to throw on over a swimsuit. One of the biggest problems with these is that they're generally very delicate so they can rip, snag, wear, fray. The tendency is to just kind of roll them up in a ball, stuff them in a corner and then only pull them out about once or twice a year. They're getting wrinkled, they're getting musty and they're just not getting used. You deserve to look fabulous on the beach or by the pool. Next up on our list is hats and sunglasses. Here's the thing with these. I find when I go somewhere, I have a tendency to pick up a new hat or a new pair of sunglasses because unless you're going for a designer pair, they're generally very inexpensive. Plus they can sometimes be awkward and difficult to pack. So you might think to yourself, I'll just grab one when I get there. Select the hats and sunglasses that you actually love, that you actually wear, and then declutter the rest. I used to buy lots of hats and then I found this one, this Joy Sparker right here. <laughs> Haven't bought a new hat since. Watch this, it's giving me Kate Winslet on Titanic vibes. Look when she goes. Oh, I did the kind of did the crazy eyes there, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> Who this next one? This one contains advice that I preach but did not practice myself recently, but it refers to uh, your travel documentation. So passports, visa documents, green cards, etc. Check for all of the ones that have expired. If you don't need them anymore, that's fine. Just get rid of them. But chances are there may be one or two things there that you will need to renew, like your daughter's passport. She went traveling with my husband recently. We only discovered the night before the trip that her passport had expired. Thankfully we were saved in the fact that it was a domestic flight so she was able to travel just on her green card. But yeah, renewal application has since gone in. I also find this really convenient to keep all of my travel documents in one little plastic pouch because when I am traveling, particularly abroad, I need to bring certain things with me. Obviously my passport, obviously my green card, but because my daughter does not have the same surname as me, I also need to bring her birth certificate and my marriage certificate to prove that she is in fact my child. Something that had never even occurred to me until the first time that I got stopped. So yeah, make sure they're all up to date, make sure that you have everything you need and consider keeping keeping it all in the one place so that when you do travel, you can just grab and go. Speaking of being able to grab and go, one of the worst things about traveling besides airports and airport security in general is packing and unpacking. So this next one is all about making that process a little bit easier. I am talking about laundry supplies. Now, if you are like me, before you go away anywhere, you wash everything and anything. You want to have all of the options available to you when you're packing. Similarly then, when you come home and unpack and you have to wash everything, you want to make that process as seamless and as smooth as possible. That means having the right supplies. It means having them where and when you need them. It means not rooting through a whole pile of clutter and, you know, stain removers and things that you don't use to get the stuff that you actually actually need. I am a very minimal when it comes to my laundry routine. I have a liquid detergent, I have one stain remover and I have bleach and that is it. Oh, plus this little lint remover thing. So streamline your supplies. And if you do have an upcoming trip, do the laundry beforehand, clean everything out of the washing machine, pull everything out of the dryer so that when you come back and you have to unpack everything, you can throw it all in the machine. It's ready to go. Next up is anything that you would take to the beach or to the pool. I'm talking beach towels, beach bags, buckets and spades all the fun stuff. But like with the hats and sunglasses, a lot of this stuff, particularly beach bags, is generally inexpensive. And these toys, we often buy them when we're on holidays, then we bring them back with us, 
but we don't use them on a daily basis. And the next time we're going somewhere, often we won't pack them because they're big and bulky. We leave them behind and we buy a brand new set when we're there. Declutter the things that are not in good condition and that you're just not using. Another thing that builds up that we don't seem to bring with us when we need it is foreign currency. We promise ourselves we're gonna bring it with us next time we go to that destination and then we don't. Go and exchange it. Or if you're thinking, no, I will definitely use that the next time I travel, then put it with your travel things. Put it with your passport. Put it with your suitcase so that you definitely remember to take it with you. Now, like a laundry, there is another category that is going to make your traveling and your returning so much easier, and that is food, particularly that perishable stuff. So before you go, make a conscious effort to use up the food that is going to expire before you get back. Get rid of anything that isn't going to go the distance. And then for an added bonus, write yourself a little shopping list of all of the things that you're going to need pretty quickly as soon as you get back. That way, when you do return, you know exactly what you can quickly grab at the store to get yourself up and running again, or you could even order it to be delivered on the day of your return. We're probably all guilty of this next one, and that is holiday trinkets and memorabilia. My husband seems incapable of traveling anywhere without bringing something back. But like I said, we've all been there. We've all bought postcards, uh, bottle openers, key rings, the list goes on and on. Chances are you picked it up either at the airport or at some little touristy corner shop. They saw us coming. <laughs> Now, look, if you've got something that really does evoke a great memory of a wonderful time that you had, keep it. But chances are we've all got the mugs, we've all got the shot glasses, we've all got the postcards that really never see the light of day again. They're just sitting around somewhere cluttering up a corner. This next one slightly differs from trinkets in the sense that I think when you go away, you should take as many of these as you can. And that is photographs of your holiday. When you're away and you're having a wonderful time, you don't always know which are the moments, which are the occasions, which are the buildings or landscapes or whatever that are going to be the most memorable for you. So yes, take all of the pictures, but then when you get back, go through them and remove the ones that you know are really not all that memorable. Pick a trip that you have been on, preferably one from a long time ago, you know, where there's some distance between you and the holiday. Go through the photographs you took and delete the ones that you don't need. Listen, if I had a dollar for every time I took a picture of a blue sky when I was away somewhere, because I grew up in Ireland, we didn't often see blue skies. So when it happened, it was an event. I can finally let those go. Keep the most special ones and say goodbye to the rest. One thing that I only wish I could declutter is my terrible fear of flying. Anyone else out there? Oh, it's horrible. But over the years, I have discovered some things that make traveling just a little bit easier, that little bit more comfortable. I compiled my top ones in this video. It's from five years ago, but I rewatched it recently and these stood the test of time, particularly that first one. Go check those out to make your next journey more enjoyable. Karev, Mila Mahagov. Okay, speaking my ship, she can do it. Slon.